Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm that famous documentarian you may have heard of. Technology. How do we deal with it? This here is a Kindle. In my pocket here is an iPod. But technology is always changing. Did you know at one point people used to read books like this? And they used to listen to music on these. High school teachers are dealing with technology that's changing every single day. With students who talk in 140 characters or less. How is the modern high school teacher to relate to these people? Let's find out. I went to South Eugene High School in Eugene, Oregon, walking down this eerily lit hallway to talk to South Eugene teachers to see what sort of technology they were using in their everyday classroom to relate to the 21st century teenager. How do you incorporate uh, technology into your classroom? We try to incorporate as much technology as possible. With the chemistry classes, we use the power books the, and vernier equipment allows us to make graphs for the students to see graphs very well, see how variables are changing, and gather data and then gather conclusions from the data. How would you have done a lab like that before the, uh, the power books? Uh, we would have had um, the students use a, a beaker of the solution with a thermometer, they would have needed to take temperature readings about every 30 seconds. And then once the maximum and minimum temperatures had been reached, they would go ahead and hand graph this. Probably would have taken the entire class period and maybe a class period and a half in order to reach the amount of data that we can take with the power books. So what is the project that you're uh, doing? So. Um, right now, students read uh, video game reviews, and then based on those video game reviews, they created advertisements using advertising techniques, uh, logical fallacies. And then they um, developed advertisements based on those uh, video game reviews. What uh, technology did you use to create the advertisements? The technology I used was um, a technology called Glogster, which is an online poster making software and then also Extra Normal, which um, you create animated cartoons um, computer with computer-generated voices. How do you think you'll use a technology like Extra Normal in the future? Um, extra Normal, um, because I teach so often uh, about critical reading strategies, and um, Extra Normal is a great way for students to um, to take information and then to redigest it in a new format. Um, and Extra Normal has a lot of appeal to them um, where they feel engaged and they want to create the animations and the cartoons. How do you use the smart board in your classroom? So physics is very visual, it's very spatial. So whereas with a chalkboard I might draw a little stick man and say, imagine him moving over here. The smart board I can actually pick him up move him, spin him, move multiple objects around. So anything that I would have had to say, imagine this moving, I can actually show the movement. So it's a really powerful visualization tool. Also, there's a lot of uh, interactive simulations that normally I would maybe show on an overhead camera, but instead of just clicking the buttons with my mouse, I can actually grab the virtual wire and move it and set up a circuit that way. How would physics change if you didn't have a smart board? Well, there's certainly an engagement factor that wouldn't be there. I mean, I think that it helps that I've got bright, vivid colors that I can change and things that can move around. I would probably go back to using a you know, sheet of paper and a document camera for some of the content that I was going to put up. And it would be okay, but it definitely would be different and definitely not quite as smooth. I wouldn't be able to integrate everything together. These were only a few of the many technology-based projects that South Eugene teachers are doing to adapt to the 21st century environment. As technology changes, so will they.